still you can't be fed up. What is going on guys, Son of Beast here. This is NBA NBA Playoffs of Round 2 as Dallas Mavericks meets Utah Jazz. For us for right now, Luka Doncic, Seth Curry, Tim Hardaway Jr., Kristaps Porzingis, and D.Y. Powell are the starting lineups with Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Royce O'Neal, Bojan Bogdanovic, and Rudy Gobert. For as you were all concerning about Rudy Gobert, he is a biggest man that wants to stop the other team. You'll never know what it counts for about Dallas Mavericks, but they're shooting aggressively to try to keep it on, on the pace. As for Kristaps Porzingis, they're trying to figure it out to find the next move before it comes back in. This time, I'm Dallas Mavericks, and I'm, it's time to see what game one is at Utah. Welcome to a brand new episode of NBA 2K TV. We have so episode 35 has came out. Including. Scott Cole, winning tips, and dynamic duos. And yep, the between the dynamic duos of each team. Between um, Russell Westbrook and James Harden. James and James and Davis. KD and Irving. And many, many more. Right now, let's head you over to the Vivint Smart Home Arena and see what we have. This is going to be a very nice, nice day to show you the game of the Western Conference Championship game after the second round. This game is brought to you by Express, a crazy night in, in Utah, Salt Lake City, showing you a very nice place here about, about the sky lighting up at night, and it's still part of a city this year, which, uh, which is the uh, only the icon of statement. So right now, Dallas Mavericks ready to find itself against Utah Jazz. Giving us the rundown on the court. That was Donovan Mitchell's uh, a second time best opportunities here with Bojan Bogdanovic with only 18.0 in the 2019 to 2020 season. And Bojan Bogdanovic wasn't playing with the Indiana Pacers since only one game. But it might be really hard to contribute with any teams. But now here's an update for DA. Well, the writing was on the wall for the end of the grit and grind era in Memphis. So Mike Conley, the Grizzlies' all-time leader in points, assists, three-pointers, and games played, knew it was time for him to part ways with the organization. And joining Utah, Conley is on a team with a chance to once again compete deep into the playoffs. Kevin, he's a significant upgrade for the Jazz. That's all we have to know about the Mike Conley because the writing name on the wall is what you're going to look for. And the key matchup is Seth Curry against Donovan Mitchell and Luka Doncic with uh, with against uh, Mike Conley. Show him what he's what he's got. I think he might be all right and he might be ready to play on the court. Let's find out what will be. That is the measure of a great front office. Now we'll look at Dallas starting line. Uh, Rick Carlisle is a is the head coach for the Dallas Mavericks. And Quinn Snyder with the Utah Jazz. All set up and here we go. Dallas wins the tip off and we start now. That's rebounded by Donovan Mitchell with the first miss of Porzingis. Conley for three. It's hold it by Christopher Porzingis. Oh! Oh! Mike Conley missed the layup and heavy contested on Porzingis. What a stop by Porzingis, and that was a miss. Outside Curry. Luka Doncic starts the three player and from outside, assist by Curry. Luka Doncic lets his outside shooting set up the rest of his well rounded offensive game. And a foul goes on Curry. Yeah, that's, his, that's the first two points for Mitchell. With the with the layup and drive, a quick pass was coming up really easy for Donovan Mitchell to start one off. Since back in Game Seven, after they put a win against the OKC, Donovan Mitchell decides that he wants to step up to his next level before he will before he turns out to be a superstar. Donovan Mitchell still in the All-Star. 
And this time, he's looking for two shots. Curry only with the first personal foul, and Stephen Curry is at Utah watching his brother play. Conley gets hits one down and it ties up by three. 6.15 to play. Commentators are right on the board. Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke. Curry finds Hardaway Jr. Over O'Neal. It's rebounded by Powell. Left side is Hardaway Jr. Curry with outside the ball. Donovan with the three. It buries it in! And just like Stephen Curry did, Luka Doncic has uh, has a going out of progressive progression on the offensive play. He is raw and a stud, doing really well, and they are totally in seventh place. Well, that doesn't mean they're they're just they're not just good already. They're just keeping up the hard work. Gobert against Porzingis, three seconds to shoot. Heavy contested, but Madonovich got it. Foul goes on Donkic. That's his first personal foul. Two fouls on, two fouls on, on Dallas. Madonovich with a nice rebound, but, but Donkic would have grabbed the rebound and not called a foul. Madonovich will be shooting two. Stop the clock at 524. Yeah, so some tweets, some thoughts about Bogdanovich. We, had, some Pacers uh, fans say we really didn't care about the Bogdanovich what his shot was, but all the Pacers fans just realized that Bogdanovich would have uh, would have been playing off again and again before he transferred to another team in 2020. Defensively, but all of a sudden now uh, he was trying to make one team in a row for Bogdanovich because he thinks that it's it's really hard. To, to figure it out, which team is better? And yes, after they play the, uh, after he played with the Pacers, he decides to go over with the Utah Jazz, and he's and he says, "I want to save one of the teammates that wants to head into the playoffs because we are missing Ricky Rubio." Now here's Hardaway Jr. Only uh, only a couple points of his shot since the last game against Memphis. Powell, fade away, good, over Gobert, and that's first two for Powell. Under five minutes to go, eight to four is your score. That's, um, that's only one point for McDonovich. Conley, oh, and Porzingis grabs it away, and here comes Curry. Three outside, Hardaway Jr. miss out from uh, outside from the corner. Conley. Gets Donkic, passes over to Gobert. Now we don't have Steven Adams anymore, and his team is out. Conley with a three, and a miss by outside as Porzingis grabs the rebound. Curry going for the three. Powell going for it straight up. He says, I got the rebound, but he, so his hand is off tight. Oh, what a block by Porzingis to stop with the layup. Kylie making making himself too cold. Only the three-pointer was off. Donkic, Hardway Jr. passing right over to Curry. Curry dishes to Donkic. Donkic with the drive. Bogdanovich with a great D. Oh, Mitchell with the dunk. That is four points for Donovan Mitchell. Just free birdie left to go on the board. Porzingis outside. He will take the cover. The covering three, no good for uh, for Porzingis, but he wants to take up the two. The offensive rebound, and Porzingis grabs his his fourth rebound with no no points on the board. Here's Porzingis. Find something uh, going on by is Porzingis. Curry outside. Donkic right around, around Mitchell with a jump shot. And that one can't go in. Royce O'Neal missing. Too many misses for, uh, for, uh, for Royce O'Neal, and he hasn't covered up on the board yet. 
Foul Porzingis. Porzingis kicks, to kicks it off to Donkic. Hurry it outside. Back to Donkic. They round it. Oh, reverse layup and a dunk for Donkic. Nice uh, spin move and around the layup, around the rim. Looking confident without any rejections or mistakes. But only one comes up with a shooting foul. Timeout. First timeout call by Utah with just 2.14 left. And Dallas taking the lead by four. Looking self up with another point opportunity here. Donkic on the run. Looking sharp. Here are some new changes for Dallas Mavericks and the Utah Jazz. As Ed Davis is checked in by Rudy Gobert. Kleba checked in for, uh, for Porzingis. Finney Smith on a small four. And then it's right with uh, with the shooting guard. Mitt Moutier on the point guard covered by uh, by Donovan Mitchell. And then the shooting guard is the... Uh, and, the rebound and then the shooting guard is the, uh, the I forgot, Willie Coy Stein grabs the two, that's his first sh basket for, uh, for Carly Stein to start the rest second round. Great finish and uh, a nice, a nice touch of his finger roll. 145 left, Moutier against Brunson. Clarkson. They're looking for Dennis Schroeder to find himself with the Dallas Mavericks, but the, but the OKC fans, they they didn't really want to mess up Dennis Schroeder by going to the other team. Ed Davis missing on the contested shot. Pass by Brunson. Brunson pass to Kleba. Kleba with makes it the two. That's his first basket for Dallas. Pass assist by Brunson. And Greg, one of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matches. Just gone 110 left on the court, just the first quarter. Moutier against Brunson. Gobert with the screen. Here's a, here's a try for Moutier, and that's his first two. Get into the lane, put your speed to good use. Dallas leading by six. Dallas finds Klebov. Finding one of each motion, looking out in the drive, passes to Finney Smith. Right around Moutier, and Brinson will take the two. Around the rim, and, and a great pass by Doreen Finney Smith. That's the first two. They officially gone out a bunch of, uh, bunch of quarters here, when they are always undefeatable uh, to take out the Memphis Grizzlies. Moutier coming in. Clarkson will take the first shot. Jazz working on it. Pretty Smith, I mean, Carly Stein with the block. And that's the first block going here. Pretty Smith, shoot, shooting three, no good. 10 seconds left. Clarkson just only missed the first first shot for the three pointer. He went out of bounds. Back Dallas was Dallas ball. Clarkson went stepped out of, on the sideline. That wasn't really good. Brunson checked out. JJ Barea comes in. Just four seconds left in the first quarter. Here's shot for Barea. And that is the end of the first quarter. 16 to 8 comes up with an early score for Dallas Mavericks as Luka Doncic has his streaking two three point clutches, just like LeBron James. For this quarter, we'll be back. Don't go anywhere, folks. The NBA playoffs will continue right here. Great work for Mike Conley uh, on his development, traveling all over his journey, but he might continue out during his next season in 2020 to 21 and yes he could stay with the uh, Utah Jazz as their officials are looking for a number of players to continue there is a second shot for uh, Moutier as he has four points 640 gone by as Barrea has only played just a couple of seasons with just six points and Dorian Finney-Smith trying to keep an eye on a look right coming in what a contested shot by Rudy Gobert taking out the uh, right. Also, Dolan Wright is out there. And it's Carly Stein. Clarkson miss. 
but puts it back in. That's a two-pointer for Clarkson as he has one on the board. How about Jordan Clarkson? He has been playing with the Cleveland Cavaliers, but for his first season, and then his second season, he he was going out really hard and wants to figure out which player can do better. As Andre Drummond did trade off to uh to Cleveland Cavaliers from the Detroit Pistons. I'm not sure what Andre Drummond is up to, but he might want to help him out since a bunch of new players are coming on the court. Nice shot by Boudier, that's six right now. Only the rest of the team has eight. Murray, I pass to Carly Stein. And when you're talking about Rudy Gobert, he only has a couple of shots that he makes. Cleveland's shot is off. Moutier against Morea. Broken around. No good, no good for uh, for Moutier. Yeah. Maverick still leading by two. Five minutes to play in the second quarter in the first half. Right, rolling over to Barea, the fadeaway jumper, and that one hits the bucket in as the first score comes up by Barea. Listen, this guy, one of the smarter offensive players in the NBA, Barea can beat you equally well as a scorer or passer. Utah calls time. Well, right now Utah is calling it, calling its uh, second timeout in the uh, second quarter. As Dallas Mavericks did find itself to find an open shot, they're working really hard to keep it to keep it from training. But for those guys, they're going to have to like keep it going again and again. Right now, let's just let's just watch. Let's just put some some patience right now. Let's just you know what? Put it back on average. You know what? And, and we'll, we're going to try some pick and rolls from here and watch the rebounds too. We got to find some uh, some transaction with the with the rebound. And now Utah will bring it back with, uh, with another change as Rudy Gobert is checked out and Davis switches off to the center. Mitchell is checked back in with a spin around. Mitchell can't handle the shot. Luka Doncic is back out, covered by Morea, and it's Conley with the steal. Well, now around the D for McDonavich, and there is another two. First two for the second quarter, only one, but now he has three. I'm not talking about the three-pointer. The two-pointer are three. Hardaway Jr. against uh, O'Neal. Round in the paint, and there's a two for Hardaway Jr. Four shots were made for uh, for by each team. Tim Hardaway Jr. got his first basket of the night. Donovan Mitchell to the fadeaway. The shot's good. Donovan Mitchell has seven points. Only two rebounds are put in. Okay, well, let's check in. Let's check in with David Aldridge on the sideline. Well, Kevin, coming into the 2017 draft, Donovan Mitchell wasn't sure he was ready for the NBA. Mitchell said, I worked out in the summer with Paul George and Chris Paul. And they were the ones who convinced me to keep my name in the draft. They said, look, you're good enough. Just go out there and show it. Kevin, through a couple of seasons in Utah, that's exactly what Mitchell has done. Of course he's ready right now. Donovan Mitchell is on the roll here back in 2017. Five seconds to shoot. McDonovich will try to three. That shot missed off wide as McDonovich didn't shot wide enough. After they had a loss in the, against OKC in game four, they were not sure about, about Mike Conley with his shot and, and game five. That was been way too, way too soon to keep it up from here. About uh, about Mike Conley playing with Memphis Grizzlies. Porzingis with the steal. And we interrupt you as Tim Hardaway Jr. makes a dunk after the turnover comes up by Porzingis. <laughs> That's right. 
That's right. Porzingis only has one turnover to take it away from the Utah. Just two birdie gone by. As I'm, I'm saying again, as as Mike Conley did play a season back with the Memphis Grizzlies since uh, three seasons, and then and then this event starting off with the first season in 2019 to 20. He starts it off with the Utah Jazz. Porzingis passes to Dokic. Dokic rolling over to Tim Hardaway Jr. Porzingis with the screen. The dunk. Oh! What a dunk by Porzingis. Assist by Hardaway Jr. And Tim Hardaway is looking for something out here. He says, I got you open. Grab the ball. And Hardaway Jr. definitely did really well. Mitchell rolling around Curry. Rebound by Davis. And I have Davis. And Davis' shot went off wide. Went off shot by off contested. Porzingis to Donkic. He shoots another one. And that goes in. Wow. What a shot by Donkic. This one has happened with a loss against Denver, as he only has seven points uh, on the board. But this season against the Jazz, he has 13. He dishes off to Bogdanovich, and a takeaway by Tim Hardaway Jr. Here comes Porzingis, two to one. Curry did the two. Wide open look, no good, and an assist is not found by Porzingis. Just 50 seconds to go, Conley takes one, and there's a shot for the three. And yes, he's back on the he's back up on the scoreboard as they're all looking for a shot after after the season in Game Six against OKC, looking really well to come up with that. 35 seconds to go. Hardaway Jr. to Porzingis, over, Porzing over Bogdanovich, and Porzingis grabs an overlook and four points for Porzingis. Jazz trailing by ten. Oh, Mike Conley lost the ball and Donkic got out of the way. What? What a dunk by Donkic, and that's how you do it, says Conley. Are you awake? I was almost going to uh, go and put a reach and foul on you, but I won't do it again. That's 15 points for, for Donkic. Out of time. Conley lost the shot, and that comes to an end of the first half. 33 to 21. And they're active really well, just like the Houston Rockets are doing. And now let's head over to David Aldridge on the sideline. Kevin, thanks. Here with head coach Quinn Snyder. Coach, what adjustments are you going to do in the second half? You just got to keep playing, keep taking the shots, and that's not the issue as much as us uh, not executing an offense. When we don't score, sometimes our defense lags as well. Everybody wants to see the ball go in the basket first, right? Thanks, coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Utah takes the, taking a little bit of time out, and then Dallas making a great lead in the first half. We'll be right back after this halftime show. We are ready to dive in the second half, and with the closure of with the closure of the first half, this time that we have noticing that Luka Doncic has been playing in the All Star game since 2018, or I mean the Rising Star in 2020 this year. He only has 15 points for the season, and then he played with the in the All Star game to find out what his team could look like. For Luka Doncic, he wants to step up his career and find out what it is. Right now, let's get the second half started as Conley only has three points on the board. He passed by Gobert. He never got a chance to, to uh, reach the point that time. Donovan Mitchell with a missed free uh, opportunity after after an uh, unassist for the uh, Gordy Gobert. And we have Powell who made the shot, assist by Luka Doncic. But his combination of um, that's uh, Powell's four points for the start of the second half. As for right now, here's Conley. Oh, denied by denied by Porzingis, and that's the last touch for him. That turns out that stays with Jazz Ball. 
Great defense for uh, Kristaps Porzingis, just like Joel Embiid did back in the last game. I already did a review of, of game one. Oh, we got a dunk here, right back on the board. Rudy Gobert is back. 6.15 left to go. He passes along to Hardaway Jr. Hardaway Jr. to Stephen Curry. To Steph, Chef, Steph Curry. Sorry, I kept saying Stephen Curry wrong every time. He didn't play with the uh, Mavericks, so he played with the Warriors. Only Steph Curry is rubber. Donovan Mitchell comes up with the foul on his first. From over here, you can see. Donovan Mitchell will be his second, will be his first, first trip to the free throw line. They didn't seem to come, didn't seem to connect with uh, with Donovan Mitchell's uh, tough contested shot on D. But it went off the line since the last time he played with the played against the OKC. Tim Hardaway Jr. shooting two. The first free throw shots in. We know this about the Dallas Mavericks. They will put every piece of data and information to use in terms of trying to get an advantage. Think about it, guys. They are now doing blood tests, trying to head off injury for their players. They believe this gives them a clearer picture into the overall health of their athletes. He hits the second one off. Only one free throw has made it in. Chopper O'Neal didn't come didn't come back in the second half. They didn't no, no shots for O'Neal. Luka Doncic lost the ball. Great D by Luka Doncic as O'Neal went missing. As an organization, you're always trying to manage appropriately. There O'Neal might be on cold. I don't know what he's he doing right now. But he might need to get back in to help his team out. Powell kicks to Curry. Curry against Mitchell. Passes back to Powell. A layup. Oh, the block would have been called up, but the foul went on Gobert, his first. And he went right off the went off the defense and the, and the defender of Gobert was off the streak of the blockness. But he scores and he defends yep. at a high level. His body went forward and all of a sudden Powell shoot two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Take a little bit of break here, Powell. And then shoot. Concentrate it. Powell gets the first free throw, and here are some new changes for Dallas and Jazz. Seth Curry is checked out. Wright comes in, and then it's Ingles subbing in by O'Neal. Potential time, and there are certain names. And Clarkson and Moody is checked in. LeBron James, but it's very by uh, Conley and Mitchell. Powell gets two free throws, and then the score is extended. Rudy Gobert with only one foul, and now Moody is back in. And to count the basket, as Wright has his first personal foul. For Moody, he has gone out just six, six points, just eight right now. But for Zingas, he never called a foul. He went off the line, never got a chance to contact on the player that was on offense. Moody will shoot for. The we'll shoot one. I think have always been there for the former number seven pick. It's about starting. Stop the clock at 515. Consistently. Here it is. Moutier hits one in, and he's back on the board in the second half. Donkic only 15 points, starting to look out strong in the second half. I don't hear the defense for the fans. And now I do. And there's the pass to, pass to Powell. Around Gobert and it went off. With the Great defense for Gobert as no foul was called on the Jazz. Moutier lays it up. And, and that's 11 points for Moutier. And Donkic only had 15. After he made a free throw. Moody against Donkic, then it's right, back to Donkic, around the layup, and a bucket comes back in for Luka Donkic. 
So far, Luka Doncic has 17 points, so right around Boutier. But he still has 11. He leads by 7 points right behind uh, Boutier. Now Boutier, rolling, coming along. Almost would have taken away. Boutier with two points, and it's on 13. Jazz trailing by 10. Points in the paint was 12 for Moutier, but didn't seem to go out in and out in the paint. But maybe really hard to get back in. Donkic missed a streak, and he is off the line. Clarkson with the layup, and he scores. They're passing the ball really well that time. Going from going from offense and with the fumble on D to cover the man-to-man -man off the defense. That foul goes on Jordan Clarkson, his first. That'll be their third team foul for Utah Jazz. They're hoping to make the step uh, in the final quarter. Coach Quinn Snyder still eyeing on the team, but still remains si silent. Deion Wright shooting two. And I'm not talking about David Wright, it's Deion Wright. Perhaps no twins between Wright and Wright, except they're different colors. Wright hits the first free throw. Well, the Jazz Here are new changes for our Mavericks. Donkic, Hardaway Jr., Porzingis, and Powell. Vinny Smith, Brunson, Kleba, and Carly Stein are checked in. Coaches they'd like to play for. And consider he's in Utah. But only a, only a couple of uh, blocks for Willie Carly Stein has made since Porzingis was making so many block, blocks and making it rejected out of the way from each player. We're about 3 30 left to go. Moutier only has 13 points. Trying to look for the lead over Donkic. Bonk, McDonavich for three. That's three is off the mark as Brunson grabs a rebound. That's that's the first rebound that he has. Well, you think about it. He played the game at a high level, of course, collegiately at Duke. Right with the screen. Oh, didn't want to take a chance already. Oh, Klebo rebounded. And there's this growth mindset. saves it. He's always over McDonovich. And a layup goes in, assisted by the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. Right. It's also how you build great team chemistry. There's a homophone. There's a homophone pair of the words between right and right. Timeout called by Utah Jazz with just 2.49 remaining. Dallas Mavericks are pulling up on the line to find out who will face next. But they still need some games to in order to win four in a row. And the Jazz are going for another, another change as Joe Ingles is, uh, has switched in to this small forward. Rudy Gobert outside, pass to Ingles. Nice ball movement for Utah Jazz, but here's Clarkson on the corner. Over Hardaway, Finney Smith with the rejection. I'm sorry to hear that, but that's not Tim Hardaway Jr. Region foul goes on Ingles, his first. It'll go on Joe Ingles. That is his first foul of the game. Just 2.33 left. Still trying to figure it out. What what the next next strategy for the uh, for Dallas Mavericks? Berea passes to Finney Smith. Ingles only the first personal foul with the reach. Berea coming in. A two's off the mark. Bogdanovich grabbing a nice rebound from the uh, from a defensive team, an offensive team. The fouls on Carly Stein. His first. Joe Ingles will take his first two look at the free throw line. Joe is an excellent shooter and passer. Excellent, uh, excellent try for, nice try for our Joe Ingles to find a shot, but for, but for Collis Nine, it's too rough to go from uh, from defense to stay cover. Watching us staying under the bat, under the basket, right near the baseline. Joe Ingles shooting two. We'll see if he can put it on the board. There's one. 
And Joe Ingles, when his when his run comes to a start, Ingles and Donovan so, um, wants to uh, talk things over with the coach and wants to find out what what uh, what um, what screen plays can Ingles do. Well, his play might be the only one that Ingles never has been played before without trading to another team. Joe Ingles. Definitely got a first, uh, was in the first round, I think the 21st draft pick. I'll have to take a look when the next dead ball's called. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Vinny Smith trying to get in a two, but looking around a defensive, a defensive player, I'm sorry. Perea with the drive. That's rebounded by Gobert. And I'll tell you, there is no block for uh, for Rudy Gobert, so he went off wide and didn't stay under it. The chair, the Jazz are going on too many misses of the three pointers. Carly Stein class pass to Kleba, then he passed to Brunson. Vinny Smith, right covered by Gobert, Carly Stein with the screen, and here we got a first one down. Finney Smith can't look to the open freeze as it went off wide. They pass down to Mitchell. Brunson against Mitchell. He passes to Clarkson. And we called out the loose ball foul on J.J. Barea. His first. And here are some Utah changes. Mike Conley, Mitchell, and O'Neal are checked back in as a starting, starting group. Conley outside uh, looking for another another shot. Conley rolling coming in along. And with the teardrop going on, Finney Smith is first. Stop the clock at 53.2 seconds. Mike Conley is trying to take his time doing a free throw uh, before he can uh, get back on the court. He took his a lot. He, he took more time to uh, think about uh, think about his uh, offensive uh, work and defensive work uh, while while setting up his uh, while setting up the blocks and guarding the man position to protect the ball and take it away. And the and the uh, passing completions. Two shots for Conley. What did they say? And the first one drops. I can't hear what the crowd are saying, so I totally forgot. Conley makes the first free throw, and now the last one. The numbers game to make the All Star team, and the crowd is only one. Not two, but he only made one. His star. Vinny Smith passed to Carly Stein. Down to 40 seconds to go. JJ Barea against against O'Neal. Oh, shot fade away. Great D by Bogdanovich without a shot fake, but he did show up. Donovan Mitchell went missing off the line by the corner. 25 seconds to go. Between the shot clock and game clock. Brunson outside, covered by Mitchell. Averages a little more than seven points a game. Brunson the pass to Kleba, over Bogdanovich. Right around Bogdanovich, and there's the two for Kleba. Kleba has six points. Uh, assisted by uh, Wright. Five seconds. Three seconds. Conley for three. Back in, didn't work. End of the third quarter. Dallas with 30 for 46 to 35. And we're going to be taking a break for just a quick moment here. For the for a break that they are going through. We'll be right back after this one, and the final quarter is on its way next. And the Jazz are going for another another change as Joe Ingles is uh, he switched in to this small forward. Rudy Gobert outside, pass to Ingles. Nice ball movement for Utah Jazz, but here's Clarkson on the corner. Over Hardaway, Finney Smith with the rejection. I'm sorry to hear that, but that's not Tim Hardaway Jr. Region foul goes on Ingles, his first. It'll go on Joe Ingles. That is his first foul of the game. Just 2.33 left. Still trying to figure it out. What what the next next strategy for the uh, for Dallas Mavericks? Barea passes to Finney Smith. 
Eagles, only the first personal foul with the reach. Morea coming in. A two's off the mark. Bogdanovich grabbing the nice rebound from the uh, from a defensive team. An offensive team. The foul's on Carly Stein. His first. Joe Ingles will take his first two look at the free throw line. Excellent, uh, excellent try for, nice try for our Joe Ingles to find a shot, but, for, but for Carly Stein, it's too rough to go from, uh, from defense to stay cover. Watching us staying under the bat, under the basket, right near the baseline. Joe Ingles shooting two. We'll see if you can put it on the board. There's one. And Joe Ingles, when his when his run comes to a start, Ingles and Donovan so, um, wants to uh, talk things over with the coach and wants to find out what what uh, what um, what screenplays can Ingles do. Well, his play might be the only one that Ingles never has been played before without trading to another team. Joe Ingles. Definitely got a first, uh, was in the first round, I think the 21st draft pick. I'll have to take a look when the next dead ball's called. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Vinny Smith trying to get in a two, but looking around a defensive, a defensive player, I'm sorry. Morea with a drive. That's rebounded by Gobert. And I'll tell you, there is no block for uh, for Rudy Gobert, so he went off wide and didn't stay under it. The chair, the Jazz are going on too many misses of the three pointers. Carly Stein class passed to Kleba, then he passed to Brunson. Vinny Smith, right covered by Gobert. Carly Stein with the screen, and here we got a first one down. Finney Smith can't look to the open freeze as it went off wide. They want their offense to create. You know, it can be They pass it down to Mitchell. And fail to reap the reward. Brunson against Mitchell. He passes to Clarkson. And we called out the loose ball foul on JJ Barea. His first. And here are some Utah changes. Mike Conley, Mitchell, and O'Neal are checked back in as a starting starting group. Conley outside uh, looking for another another shot. Conley rolling coming in along. And with the teardrop going on, Finney Smith is first. Stop the clock at 53.2 seconds. Mike Conley is trying to take his time doing the free throw uh, before he can uh, get back on the court. He took his a lot. He, he took more time to uh, think about uh, think about his uh, offensive uh, work and defensive work uh, while while setting up his uh, while setting up the blocks and guarding the man position to protect the ball and take it away. And the and the uh, passing completions. Two shots for Conley. What did they say? And the first one drops. I can't hear what the crowd are saying, so I totally forgot. Conley makes the first free throw, and now the last one. The numbers game to make the All Star team, and the crowd is only one. Not two, but he only made one. Is star caliber. Vinny Smith passed to Carly Stein. Down to 40 seconds to go. JJ Barea against against O'Neal. Oh, shot fade away. Great D by Bogdanovich without a shot fade, but he did show up. Donovan Mitchell went missing off the line by the corner. 25 seconds to go. Between the shot clock and game clock. Brunson outside, covered by Mitchell. Averages a little more than seven points a game. Brunson the pass to Kleba, over Bogdanovich. Right around Bogdanovich, and there's the two for Kleba. Kleba has six points. Uh, assisted by uh, Wright. Five seconds. Three seconds. Conley for three. 
Back in, didn't work. End of the third quarter. Dallas with 30, 46 to 35. And we're going to be taking a break for just a quick moment here. For the, for the break that they are going through. We'll be right back after this one. And the final quarter is on its way next. Let's have a look at Quinn Snyder's in the huddle. With Quinn Snyder only with the record trying to tell them to make it in a huddle to make it quick before before they reach back into the court. Only Quinn Snyder is trying to uh, talk to his teammates to find a better spot. Kleba, Hardaway Jr., covered by O'Neal. With a bell elbow, and it runs through. Hardaway Jr. got seven points. Only two shots are missed, and then, then, then 11 with a negative perception, I don't know. Donovan Mitchell finally gets a three-pointer in the second half, but the Dallas Mavericks are still leading by 11. Maria with it. Carly Stein with the screen, Conley around him. He passes off to Curry. Curry to Carly Stein. Hardaway Jr. for three. Bam! That's in for Hardaway Jr. And that's ten points. Assist by Carly Stein. This guy will cash in from there. That cash is more money for the, for Tim Hardaway Jr. to look for. What a play. Conley. Curry taken away and he'll finish the drive. He finishes the drive using the glass for. Yeah, they are demoralized. He finally gets two points in the, in the fourth quarter. Stephen Curry looking him, looking so proud of him. Got his point back in. Conley makes a three. Timeout called by Mavericks. Dallas only has three timeouts, and Jazz only has four timeouts with 5:34 remaining. So it looks like the defensive, uh, I mean, offensive worker are not doing really well. I'm not using the default Mavericks, so I'm just using it something else to uh, make it better. What does that mean? It means they have to draft and develop their talent in turn. Let's try it with the four on one, four out, and one in active, and then I'll. Um, and then we'll bring back uh, Porzingis on the center, while Carly Stein is uh, is in a point. Where is that? Oh wait. While Carly Stein is gonna was in the uh, point forward position, and then I'll sub out Tim Hardaway Jr. because he only makes a three, and that's not quite enough to put it put it in. So how does he know? How does he know that? I don't know. JJ Murray, I'm subbing out, and then. And then uh, Brunson will come in, and that's all I can do. Here's a different look for uh, Dallas. And it's Jalen Brunson in for JJ Barea. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter. Let's catch on the sideline report for David Aldridge. We got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make a simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. And the Jazz, and the jazz are going back the other way, followed up by Kristaps Porzingis with the dunk. Porzingis grabs his seventh rebound with another miss by Conley or Donovan Mitchell. I don't, I don't think Donovan Mitchell wasn't able to get ready to start the number, or number three pointer bucket. Carly Stein to Curry. Pass to Porzingis and the shot's good. Timeout called by Utah Jazz. Only three timeouts left by by both teams. 4:51 to go. Looks like uh, we're gonna have to like uh, fix it up a little bit and take some notes. Getting 